Hey you guys and welcome back to Hyrule Warriors! I'm Zelda Master and in this episode we're gonna be taking on Twilight Field on hard mode with Lana to obtain the Gold Skulltula that is for hard mode of course. So let's go ahead and select her and we're gonna have to use the Book of Sorcery for this one. I believe this is a pretty strong one. Uh, do we have anything stronger? Nope. So 195 is the best and it has a rupees buff so I'm definitely going to use this because yeah I could I could use the rupees, my friend, and maybe level up some characters and stuff for upcoming challenges we're going to have to do for this hard mode quest, um, because, uh, yeah, as you saw in the last episode, I kind of struggled with Impa, that's mainly because I was using a horrible weapon, and I'm going to get into why in a second, but let's go ahead and check out the skull plus, so defeat question mark before question mark flees the front lines, and then capture the bridge keep. Alright, so we have to f defeat question mark before question mark uh, flees the front lines. That makes a lot of sense now, doesn't it? Obviously, Midna and Sia are the two who are going to appear within the stage. So it's going to have something to do when Midna goes attack Sia. We're most likely going to have to defeat Midna before uh, Sia flees, which is actually super easy to do. I believe we've done that in the normal playthrough without even trying. So, yeah, but. Here we go guys, now the reason uh, I struggled so badly in the last episode with Impa uh, is because I was using a horrible weapon and basically the reason why is because you know on the icon it tells you to use one of the giant knife weapons and uh, according to one of you guys in the comments of the last episode you can actually pick any one of those weapons so I could have used the Begoron's knife instead of the giant's knife so yeah um I don't know that, that was just really dumb on my part I actually never knew that I just looked at the icon and I saw the uh, giant knife so I just assumed that was it but you can use any knife um, and now I know so <laughs> if I ever come across, uh, you know, playing as Link and I have to use the Hylian Sword, I'll end up using the 8-bit sword or something else different to show it off. Uh, because it's a lot stronger, of course, and whatnot. But Link is like a character I won't even have to worry about what weapon I'm using because he's so overleveled. Impa, on the other hand, was a completely different scenario. I struggled a lot and it was really dumb on my part, but I was able to do it, so I'm not going to dwell over that. Anyways, here we are in the Twilight Fields. You can tell that, um, okay, here we got Agatha, of course, a character that will be playable once we unlock her. I'm going to skip this cutscene because we've seen it before, of course, so mission successful, we've saved her. That's all you need to do. But here you can tell that this is Kakariko Village. Um, I believe you're supposed to enter from here. Is the gorge up here? It might be, actually, or it might not be. I can't tell. Uh, because it's just broken up buildings. It kind of actually reminds me of the Hidden Village, but I'm pretty sure this is based off of Kakariko Village? Huh. No, it looks more like Kakariko Village, yeah. Um, and, uh, over there is a house. Oh, you know what? This is the, this is the entrance. So the entrance would have been from, like, maybe here on the GameCube version or something. I have no idea. Honestly, I can't make it out. But it looks like it's Kakariko Village from Twilight Princess, which is awesome. But I feel like it wasn't uh, done well. But it's whatever. I know, I'm kind of upset because the Twilight Princess stages within this game aren't as uh, as memorable and you know don't look as similar as the game itself compared it to like the Ocarina of Time ones. So yeah, you know, because Twilight Princess is my favorite game, so I want Twilight Princess to have the best everything within this whole mashup. And same thing with the characters. I mean, we got Agatha and Midna for, you know, the good playable characters, the heroes. And <laughs> Midna is so cool. You know, I love Midna as a character, but she's lacking in the, the combat department. I don't know. She's not that good. I think her gameplay is actually horrible, at least in my eyes. I think she's really weak, and I hate how slow she is because she has to constantly jump on that Twilight Wolf she summons. So I'm not a huge fan of her, but I don't know. Maybe if they make a new weapon for her, I'll play a lot of her if uh, if it's a good weapon, of course. But so far, the shackle that you get with her and having her control a wolf is not my style of gameplay. I can't wait until I show off the rest of the weapons, though, within this game. Because uh, Link has two new weapons, and his current weapons actually have a lot of cool, like, other types of... Uh, 
kinds of those sort of weapons, if that makes any sense. Like, out of that weapon class, there's a bunch of other ones, kind of like with the Hylian Sword. So a couple more swords we can get that resembles the Hylian Sword, but uh, it looks different. I don't know, Just I saw a bunch of gameplay for um, the... The adventure mode, and I know this is a lot of cool stuff we're going to be able to unlock in this game. This game is filled with content, but sadly, we don't have any of it. I don't I don't really understand what's going on here. It should open up, but Agatha is really not moving. It says Escort Agatha. There we go. Finally, she's moving. She's summoning a bug on what? What is she fighting? Really? These people are slowing her down? All right. Well, that's cool. It's really dumb because... This is not important at all, yet this is slowing her down massively. Look at that one guy, one freaking Bulblin, has her just standing there. Now she's just running towards the rock. But yeah, we have to escort her here so she can open up this. Yeah, the door is locked. That's no problem. I can handle this. Let's see what she does. It's just going to open up, most likely. We're not going to see any cool animation. Yep, she has just opened it up. That's fine by me. Um... I went ahead off screen and fixed up a bunch of these warriors with new badges and stuff. Hopefully that will help them out. I noticed, uh, I believe Impo was lacking in the assist department, like the assist badges, so I fixed her up on that, which is nice. And uh, hopefully she'll be stronger in later levels. All I do know is, I'm just going to spoil this, I don't think it's really spoiling, but the last challenge for hard mode within, you know, Ganon's tower is going to be played with Darunia. Yeah, so we're going to have a challenge with Darunia that we're going to have to do to obtain the final gold skull play that's on hard mode here. And, um, I don't think that will go easy, honestly, because I don't really like Darunia either. I feel, I feel really bad for saying I don't like certain characters. Obviously, I don't, like, I don't hate him as a, as a character, I just don't like their gameplay. But everyone has their own opinions, you know? I love freaking Lana, Zelda, Link... Sheik, Impa, they all are really cool. Those are obviously all the main characters I just mentioned, but they did a really good job with them. Uh, and same with, I guess, G Ganon's really freaking fun, actually, but I'm not a huge fan of the side ones. I can't wait until I play uh, the other unlockable characters, though. I think I'll have a different opinion on those. I'm pretty sure I will. Hopefully, they'll be really fun, but that's obviously when the time comes. Here, we're going to have to try to defeat Midna, uh... Actually, I believe she's going to instantly run away when this happens, once Agatha catches up. But as soon as she starts charging for Sia, we're going to have to defeat her. And uh, I guess that will trigger the the freaking event to happen. So let's go ahead and watch this. Actually, I'm most likely going to skip it as well once we get a glance at the kitty. Because <laughs> that's what Agatha refers to her as, you know, Midna, the, the small little kitty. Uh, but where is she? Okay, Midna's forces have appeared. I guess Midna's on the move. Uh, let's go ahead and start chasing her then, if I can. I need to start running. I'm going to leave this whole place. There she is. Yeah, she's standing back there. So let's go ahead and get running to uh, to stop her. Because that's what we got to do. That's our main objective. There's really nothing else I need to worry about. I just need to make sure she doesn't make her way to Sia and defeat her. I gotta defeat her first because that is obviously the objective so yeah if I wasn't doing this this would be so much easier but I want to see how well I can do I believe this is the time we want to fight her she's really strong though because she has a lot of keeps that are claimed and put in Twilight I believe Midna is the first character I have that has a triple Musu gauge um, I also you know fixed her up with badges which is awesome but I don't even like her Muso because, yeah, it's like a really badass spirit bomb, uh, but for those of you who don't know, it misses really easily, and that's a huge issue. All right, hopefully this will set us up for a couple attacks. Nope. All right. At least I can kill that guy, but I need her to, to give me a chance to do rush mode on her. I think that will definitely do a lot of damage. We're doing decent damage for, like, not really doing anything else. All right, let's see. Will that give us a chance? Really? What? Alright, well, I'm just gonna keep willing as, uh, as I freaking get beat up really badly. Also, our allies are getting destroyed here, which is a problem. Alright, I'm gonna run back for a second. Let's pick up this heart. Let's go to use our Muso. Start killing her off. I want, it would be cool if she only had Twilight Beasts and stuff as her allies. So I'm not starting to go with the Twilight. Yeah, when I'm in within the Twilight. Well, you're not in the Twilight, so... 
Yeah, wait, is that, oh, that could have gave us a chance, but I wasn't paying attention. We defeated 500 enemies, yay, not bad. All right, what, what is going on? All right, I believe this is the best chance to do it. Yes, one, two, come on. Okay, well, I guess we're gonna get another chance? Not really. Ah, uh, okay, well, I'm gonna just keep willing. Hopefully, I'll be able to, um, to make sure my allies, everyone's in danger. I don't know, I can't help it. I'm sorry, this is hard mode, so I'm sure they're a lot tankier, the enemies, and our allies aren't, or something, so, yeah. And look at that, the last sliver of health and when I, is when I'm able to actually unlock rush mode. But we defeated her, so she's like, hey, get out of my way. I'm sure she's gonna teleport now, straight towards Sia. Uh, yeah, she has. I don't think this part matters now. I'm pretty sure she's gonna force her to uh, retreat, and then we are safe. So we'll let that happen. I'm gonna go ahead and claim a piece of Twilight. Actually, I could just run to her and make sure. Uh, I believe I am set with the objective. Nope, Sia has left. All right, perfect. Now let her retreat, and we'll be able to end this off. This is a really short stage, which is upsetting. I love how Midna is the, you know, main boss within this level, and you know, three forces collide and fight the Highland Midnas and the Dark Forces, but like I said, it's just a really small level. It doesn't hold much. It doesn't show much of Twilight Princess's amazing and vast and crazy Hyrule field. I mean, Twilight Princess had like the biggest Hyrule field. I Made mean, Ocarina of Times, which everyone was like, Ocarina of Times, Hyrule field is, you know, vast and ginormous. It made that look like a small kids playground to it. Well, freaking. <laughs> Hyrule Field and Twilight Princess was like a football field or something. That is how big it felt compared to Ocarina of Times, which is nice. But yeah, now Maiden is going to be a little upset that uh, she escaped and that she's going to start battling with us, thinking we are a part of them. We know how the story works. We're actually going to join forces with her. And I'm going to have to play as her in the next video as well, which I'm not looking forward to because, of course, um, yeah. That's all I need to say. <laughs> I'm just not looking forward to it. But let's go ahead and start running towards her. You sure as I haven't been helping out anybody. So the Twilight Realm is active. Now that it is active, Midna's morale is really high, so it means she's extremely strong. Uh, but that's fine. Because I think I can still kill her. So victory conditions have changed. It's time to actually defeat Midna. But obviously, did, before we do that, we have to claim the North Bridge Keep, I believe. That's why it was called. And it's over here. Should be opened up if she'll let us enter it. I guess we can't. All right, we'll see. Once it opens up, we'll be good. I think it's just because the the victory conditions have changed and it hasn't opened up yet. I'm not entirely sure. If so, we'll just we'll just start backing up, I guess. Let's see. Maybe we have to see the cutscene with Midna, which uh, should have her. Oh, she's all the way over there, actually. Interesting. All right. Well, this will give us a good chance to start claiming areas. I find it weird how she's like staying back there now. As you'd assume she'd retreat. I guess she'll say that soon. That she's gonna retreat back here. And when that does happen, we will defeat her. And uh, be able to just. Oh, sweet! We gotta level up as well. Not bad. Uh, I, mean, I just love the way Lana runs. It's so freaking nice. She looks so cool. It reminds me of when I was a kid, you know, waving my hands back, trying to run like Sonic. It was really dumb, but. <laughs> It's cool. I don't know, with Lana she fits. Maybe because she has blue hair like freaking Sonic, even though Sonic's just a blue hedgehog. Which would be weird to see. Also, hedgehogs don't look like Sonic. They don't have like hair, they're just a bunch of spikes. Or maybe I'm thinking of more of a porcupine, but hedgehogs also don't look as cool as a freaking anime Sonic character. But yeah, okay, so Agatha's searching for Midna. I don't even understand what that means, because we can see her on the map. I guess we're just gonna keep claiming. All right, so Agatha is fleeing. Wow, I made her flee, my bad. Does it matter though? I don't think so. All right, so let's go ahead and just claim another keep. I believe a chat from each side except the one down here. You'd think that the keep up there would have opened by now, but it hasn't. Oh wait, oh no, 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 this is really bad. This is really bad, our base is gonna fall, so the base is being crushed like an anthill, huh? All right, let's go ahead and just help our team out. Hopefully we don't actually lose this. Oh my God, 
This is ridiculous. It's so filled. All right, we're going to have to do this as soon as we can. Then we're going to go ahead and stop everybody. I don't even know how to get the gauge to refill. I actually have no idea. So that's bad because I think it's going to continuously go down until... Um, let's go ahead and use this. I think it's going to continuously go down until it's claimed. And then when we reclaim, it goes back up. But we can't reclaim our allied base. I mean, that makes no sense. Let's go ahead and see what the move this is. Oh, yeah, it's this one. Reminds me of those uh, pads that uh, like platform tiles that come up and attack you and like you know Zelda temples and stuff which is cool I like that. I believe they based it off of that honestly but the amount of enemies we're killing because our our freaking base is literally filled with uh, enemies it is ridiculous I, I don't even think having me in here is gonna stop them I think we lost if uh, I don't know just we don't start regenerating I never noticed actually how to do that. And where is Mid now? She must be in a Twilight Keep doing her thing. Alright, let's go ahead and pick up this. It should give us two Musou gauges again. Oh my god! Enemies, please stop! This is too much. What the frick? Alright, well maybe we have to have more allies come in here. So let's go ahead and run up. And then kill this guy. So please die. I need... Yeah, he's just going to keep spawning people. So great, I have no choice but to re withdraw. Alright, perfect. That is exactly what we needed to happen. Now she's at the bridge keep and now we can head there. But look at the situation we are currently in. We're not in a good one, of course. <laughs> I'm so stupid. I can't believe I let it go this far down. I was too busy focusing on Midna earlier. So capture the kitty. All right, got it. Let's just save this. What is going on, man? Too many people. I have 10k uh, rupees though, which is nice. Uh, hopefully I can actually beat the stage without losing. So she's preparing a counterattack at the Bridge of Elven. I I don't know what to do at this point. Our our freaking base is way too filled and I don't see these enemies going away. It's absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> what is what is going on? What what do I do? I don't know. As you can tell I'm just questioning myself here because look at how many enemies we're killing and how little effort we're doing to this place. I used my Musu like 50 times already, killing up around 30 people each time, and it's still going to go down. I have no idea what to do here. All right, well, I don't believe, I believe once we kill everybody here in this place, make sure everyone one by one is completely dead, we can leave and no one will march towards here. I hope at least that's the case because I don't think they're advancing towards our base let's just make sure we slaughter everyone one by one I'm gonna go ahead and switch the map oops I'm gonna zoom in like this so I can see exactly where everyone is and kill them <laughs> this is honestly the best idea to, to go with there we go see now we know it's completely uh, cleaned out and now we can run to midnight and I don't think anything bad's gonna happen we got some allies coming over so I hope they actually uh, they fill the gauge on that, but let's go ahead and, oh look, Agatha's here as well, not bad. Alright, so now that that has, has all been done and stuff, and uh, we seem to be good, it's time to make our way to Midna and uh, see if we can get ourselves that gold Skultula that uh, I heard we can pick up. Uh, let's hope we can actually do that. But yeah, <laughs> I'm actually like really tired, so I apologize if my commentary is really like uh, chilled back and relaxed. Just, I feel like I'm coming up with a cold, which I'm kind of afraid of. I don't want to have a cold right now. Uh, this is obviously the time of the year where I get my cold. I usually get a cold for about a week, and that's it. So it's not much of an issue, uh, but I don't want a cold, especially when you know you have a schedule and you want to record as much stuff as you possibly can. Uh, it really sucks, and it really slows down everything. So I really hope... Uh, I don't. I drink like a crap ton of orange juice and did whatever I can to, um, to prevent this from happening tomorrow because I have a feeling I'm going to wake up tomorrow feeling like utter crap. So we, we will see. But regardless, I'm like, ah, okay, I'll just record some of this. This is really easy and actually like super fun to record. I don't think you guys are liking it as much as the first playthrough. I can obviously tell that this isn't receiving the same amount of, of feedback 
as the normal one did. And yes, the gold skeleton appeared the second we completed this. Um, but, alright, there we go. Now we can defeat off Minda. But, it obviously makes sense, because we're playing through the exact same game for a second time without really waiting too long, which I understand it wouldn't be as interesting, but I am determined to 100% this game, and I feel like this game will pick up and be super, super duper fun once we enter Adventure Mode, because there will be a bunch of fun challenges, um, and we'll be playing as so many other characters, unlocking so much stuff. Challenge mode, is, challenge mode is gonna be super fun, but I want to get this out of the way and complete it. And since I didn't know there were exact objectives when starting this series, like this uh, hard mode series, I didn't make it like a guide. I could have done a guide video where I put them all into one, but I didn't know how I was gonna do it. I'm like, I'll just beat the level with you guys and hopefully we'll get the gold skull to appear and obtain it. But now that I know you can just easily look it up and then do it, uh, I realize I could have just made this as, you know, as, like a guide series instead of a full repeat through all of Legend Mode. But regardless, I don't care because this is still fun and uh, playing through the game again and giving out my opinions and stuff. Like getting, getting a chance to actually give my opinions instead of talking about the story I think is a good call. Because, uh, you know, I'm still having fun commentating this series regardless. Regardless, I would have been playing the same amount. Heck, you're just getting more content this way. So I think it's a good thing I'm not doing the whole guide thing and have this whole series be into one video and just throw it at you. Um, making it more like a let's sit back, relax, and just play a video game and, and talk about things. Kind of like what I like doing Let's Plays for. But yeah, there we go. We have completed it. I'm happy we were able to obtain the Gold Skulltula with ease. I mean, we had a little trouble with our base, but that was it. That was the most... Uh, you know, hectic moment in this uh, stage. And there we go. We can actually see Lana's freaking awesome victory screen with her Book of Sorcery. She looks up and is so kawaii. Yeah. <laughs> it's adorable. All right. So let's go ahead and check out what we got. Oh my god. 15k. That is awesome. Just absolutely amazing all right let's see what we got here with Zelda oh that's that's actually really good there we go with Ganon that's that's a strong weapon I don't think I need plus slots all right and please tell me it's a centerpiece it is it is a part of the beast Ganon form I'm excited to actually fill this illustration up so that's gonna be exciting but there we go guys that does it for this episode we obtained the second gold skull on hard mode with Lana, so that's awesome. But in the next episode, we're going to be heading to the stage with Midna and obtaining the gold skull there. So, thank you all so much for watching this episode of Hyrule Warriors. I've been Zelda Master. I'll see you all in the next one.